everybody, it's Daniel here with Mobile Syrup, and we are at Nokia's booth at Mobile World Congress 2015 in Barcelona, taking a look at the Nokia N1, the company's first Android tablet, and a shoe-in for the most respectful iPad clone on the market. Clearly, even Nokia knows where its uh, design roots lie, and it's not making any bones about it. This is definitely uh, a copy of the iPad in many ways, but it is a respectful one, and it's the best alternative to the iPad for those who want a stock Android experience, and that's exactly what you get. This runs Nokia's Z Launcher, which is available on the Play Store for any Android phone, but this uh, features it preloaded. You can install something else over it because it does have the Play Store pre-installed. To access any app, you just want to draw in the first letter of uh, the app name. I, I drew an R and Reddit News came up, followed by Temple Run. So anything with the letter R in it will come up. You don't have to navigate that way. You can scroll through your app list vertically, which is really nice and easy. The performance here is fantastic thanks to a quad-core uh, Intel 64-bit Moorefield chip running at 2.3 gigahertz. There's also two gigs of RAM in here and 32 gigs of internal storage. Uh, this is a Wi-Fi only product. The screen is 7.9 inches. It's 2048 by 1536 resolution. It's an IPS display. You can see that there are some excellent viewing angles here. Uh, this is also the first device to ship with the USB 3.0 Type-C connector. And this is a backwards compatible connector with USB 2.0, but it's also reversible. So you can uh, install the cable in any orientation you want and it will charge and uh, transfer data to your computer. You can see here the speaker holes on the bottom are, are there as well. You can see the volume buttons on uh, the right side the power button on the top with that 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and a microphone and on the left is nothing. This is a very nicely made Android tablet. It feels really good in the hand. It's light but sturdy and I really do think that if somebody's looking for a Nexus-like experience without shelling out the money for a Nexus 9, this may be your best bet. We don't know when it's coming to North America. We certainly hope it does, and we certainly hope that Nokia keeps making great hardware. This is Daniel with Mobile Syrup taking a first look at the Nokia N1 Android tablet.